80% of our dads come through the child support system and the family courts. Our goal is to work with the child support office. Child support office give us his information. We'll contact him either by email, texting, face to face, go by go by that address, knock on doors, and just establish that contact and you know and say, hey, look, we know you got this letter. I know it's confusing. Don't run. You know, because as soon as you go underground, then that means time away from your child. You know, let us assist you in navigating the system and show them um, and train them how, you know, what forms to fill out, how to talk, who to talk to, and the agencies to go to that'll support you and help you um, get through this thing. Uh, when they first come in, they're usually withdrawn, they're quiet, they try to find a corner of the classroom to sit into. About midway through the class, that, that person that once came in quiet and withdrawn is expressing, they're giving advice, you know, they're absorbing the information and they're really into it. And by the time they matriculate through the 12 modules, you know, they end up coming back. There's not many environments where they get to sit and talk openly about fatherhood. You know, I mean, when they with their buddies, they're not talking about being a dad. They shooting a breeze about something else or whatever. And so this is an environment where they're around other dads and they can talk from the heart about, you know, their, what they care about, what make them mad. I mean, it's just therapeutic. But when we get in this class, it goes a little bit deeper. It touching those places that they don't often share. And that is what changes, help change them. They look at things differently when they get out. If they're a parent, they're gonna reflect on something we've talked about. When they look at their kids, they're gonna think about some of those topics that we discussed and how to do it different. Our ideal image of a graduate of our program is a dad who's there, he's accountable, accountable for his actions. He's present, um, he's working, he's established some type of relationship with the child's mom, a healthy relationship. Um, they have good communication with one another. He's a good dad to his kids, he's there. And he has a completely different view and mindset. A lot of guys that's incarcerated, they don't really, they never really had someone on the outside opinion or their personal experiences. I think a lot of times the guys, they get caught up in their circle. And when I say get caught up in their circle, that means that they're only hearing from their friends and they never have opportunity to hear someone that's gonna tell them the truth and be open and honest with them. This program alone has definitely changed the mindset of everyday men. You know, you had dads coming in who literally only thought about themselves. The kids wasn't always in their mind. You know, they knew they had kids and you know, they would take care of them on weekends or whatever, but we've increased that sense of urgency for them to be there, to be a part of their lives and to understand that, you know, you being a part of this it's just temporary, but what we're trying to instill in you is something that's permanent. If you have a concern about the community or human lives or men making a change or seeing a change in people or individuals, I think it's the best program that a person can possibly go through. If we're given a chance to work with those individuals, I think any stakeholders or anyone would appreciate what we did. So we definitely try to assist dads and moms um, because the services that we provide to the dads, even though we're a fatherhood program, we provide those same services to moms. A lot of uh, our clients, our um, past clients, have went to other programs and found out that the other programs don't have all that we have. We have everything in one package. So it's like a one-stop right here. You send a dad to jail for child support Exactly who's benefiting? Nobody is. Because the child support still isn't getting paid, dad is still locked up, and the kid is still not seeing his father. So we want to change that. We want to kind of reverse that. Instead of dad going to jail, send him to our program so we can kind of show him what's important, what you need to really focus on. We operate under a federal grant um, through the Office of um, Family Assistance. 
and we're able to provide um, a lot of family supports. If dad, um, while dad's in class, if he's a single dad and need a babysitter, he can take his child to his regular daycare, drop his child off at that regular daycare, and just give us the bill. You know, the biggest impact that I want to make on these guys' life is to get them to understand that they have a role in the lives of their child. Uh -huh.